Woody, is Go the be transcript with your kids, man. complete? You say no? You know that. <laughs> Are we going to be hearing from somebody over Zoom? I just have a brief, I just have a brief uh, TikTok that I need to play. Really? He's playing a TikTok? It's very brief. Okay. Well, this is part of the proffer, so I, it's your choice. I can do it or I cannot do it. I have no idea what it's going to be. I can tell you what it will be. Why don't you tell me first? This will be a TikTok of Mr. Copeland speaking so to Ms. Bumpus, okay. where Mr. Copeland acknowledges that what is in the transcript is not is the transcript is not complete. Did Mr. Copeland read the transcript? Uh, I don't know what Mr. Copeland okay. has read or not. Um. So. If you don't want to hear it, then I can just do my proffer, Your Honor. I, I mean, if it, that's what it says, it, it, it shows Ms. Bumpus talking to Mr. Copeland. Believe it or not, yes, Your Honor. Okay. And Mr. Copeland says, whatever. I mean, I, I don't care. Play it. You can take it for what it's worth, yeah, Your Honor. Yeah, I'll just. Doug, you should have played my video, um, man. Come on. Let, let me just, if I can, I can begin with my proffer, then I can play okay. this, Your Honor. So disappointing. Um, is my understanding based on my conversations with Ms. Bumpus that while the transcript may be, the tra let me be more specific, the transcript of the June, June the 10th, 10th 2024 meeting. ex parte meeting, um, and I don't, I'm not going to list everybody that was in the meeting, but that transcript was complete in the sense that Bill was in the room mm -hmm. and um, the court reporter was in the room. There's no, I have no basis to believe that that transcript is incomplete for when Judge Glanville was in the room. But there was a portion of that morning, a significant portion of that morning, based on my understanding, where it was Miss Hilton was in the room, Mr. Copeland was in the room, Miss Bumpus was in the room. And, and how, do, how do you, what should, how do you, how is that your understanding? Because I don't see that from the transcript. And I know I actually said that at some point, but I went back and looked. And let me reference y'all to, let me find it. All right. So the beginning of the transcript, it is just other than it is, if we all look at page three, President Chambers were Judge Glanville, ADA Love, Attorney Bumpus, Court Reporter Weaver, and Investigators Long and Hamilton. And then they have a conversation that goes through page 22. On page 23, the proceedings stood in recess from 9.34 to 10.03 because just before then, uh, they had decided to get Mr. Copeland in and Miss Hilton in. So when they go back on the record at 10.03, this is reflected on page 23, it's Judge Glanville, ADA Hilton, Attorney Bumpus, Court Reporter Weaver, um, Investigators Long, Hamilton, uh, some deputies, And then at some point, Mr. Copeland expresses that he might want to call his sister. And on page 36, Mr. Copeland says, can I, oh, this is not the sister. Can I speak with her for a second? meaning Miss Bumpus, and it shows that Judge Glanville, ADA Hilton, Court Reporter Weaver, and the two DA's office investigators leave chambers at 1017, return at 1033. Then Mr. Copeland has a question for the court. And then
<clears throat> I was just thinking about something and I hate to interrupt this. I know y'all really want to watch this, but something for you all to think about. I've done several videos about what was going on with Kayla and Lil Woody or Lil Woody making their social media run. And we had some of the clips from some of the videos and interviews that they did. What I found interesting in this specific part of the, the trial was where Mr. Weinstein and Judge Whitaker are going back and forth about the TikTok video. And you heard Mr. Weinstein say, oh, Judge, I want to show this TikTok video. Judge Whitaker says, what's in the video? And he said something interesting. He says, believe it or not, it's Caleb Bumpus talking with little Woody saying that the transcripts are incomplete. And the Judge Whitaker's like, I don't want to hear that. Let's just move it aside. So it makes me wonder, would that be an issue? And is that why, why Judge, why does Judge Whitaker not want to play the video? Because you have the two people who were actually there saying that the transcripts are complete. Is that because it would be an issue legally that they were talking about it? Like we mentioned in those videos. Very interesting. Y'all let me know what you think in the chat. In the chat. On page 46, um, a sheriff's office person comes in and tells Judge Glanville, we have a security issue. We need to stop for a minute. And it reflects that Judge Glanville and that uh, officer, Lieutenant Dean, exit chambers at 1045. Judge Glanville returned to chambers at 1047. Okay, and then then there's something about he might want to talk to his sister. And on page 52, they appear to maybe call his sister. And Miss Hilton says, let me, if y'all want to talk, let me go somewhere where I can't hear you. The judge is over there, so just speak low so he doesn't hear you. And the court says, hold on. And Judge Glanville um exits chambers along with Miss Hilton, investigator Long, investigator Hamilton, and the court reporter. They all leave from 1053 to 1128. Um, when they come back in, and this was where I got confused, the court says, okay, all right, Mr. Copeland, have you had an opportunity to talk with Miss Bumpus, your lawyer, and Miss Hilton, the state's counsel? Have you got any other questions? And I hadn't looked up to see who left before, so I thought maybe just the judge had left, but it appears that they had all left. So, I mean, I assume he meant... Obviously, we know Ms. Hilton and Mr. Copeland had been talking prior to this. Um, so I guess that's what he meant. But anyway, um, that, that's where I had gotten that. So where did, where do you get your basis that they were in there at some point? Uh, I get my information from Ms. Bumpus. Okay. So perhaps, I, and I don't know specifically at what point. I don't know if Ms. Hilton came back in the room prior to going back on the record. I don't know, but at some point, Ms. Hilton, Mr. Copeland, and Ms. Bumpus were in that room I'm gonna send uh, Doug discussing this video. things amongst themselves. And my understanding is that Mr. Copeland relayed information regarding the murder of Donovan Thomas and perhaps some other information that Ms. Bumpus indicated would be Brady material. Um, and so I just want to put that on the record that this happened. Okay, so you can't put that on the record well, that it happened. You can put I, it on I, the record that Ms. Bumpus told you it happened. Well, Is Bumpus, that what you're saying? Yes, Your Honor. All right, I want to hear from Ms. Bumpus if that's the case. Okay. Oh, wow, and they're going to call Ms. Like Bumpus. To, are you interested if in seeing this TikTok? If you want me to, that's fine. Okay. No, I'm not interested in seeing it, it but if you feel like it's relevant, I'll watch it. It is very but relevant. I, may we approach briefly with Mr. Kendrick? Um, yes. 